No, I am hot. Yojo Sinki, aka Saga of Tanya the Evil, has just started this month, and I think it's worth talking about. Here's my first reaction to the first few episodes. Let's get into it. It's previously an anime. In Yojo Sinki, we get yet another world at war, but this time they're not just using tanks, guns, and other artillery, they're actually using mages as well. Special teams of mages that fly through the air, raining death from above. Uh, using machines uh, that runs off their mana. So it, it, it's kind of different, but not really. We you, You've seen this in other animes as well. But the, the, in this particular one, the story is not so childlike. It's actually kind of serious with a little bit of comedy in there. Our main protagonist, Tanya Diggerachaf, <laughs> is pretty much the supposed evil one in this anime, as the title will tell you. And this is supposed to be a story that pretty much leads you through, I guess, how she became that way. Or maybe she's just telling you that, yeah, she's evil and she's going to be like that during the whole anime. Uh, off and on throughout the, throughout the few episodes I saw, you see bits and pieces of her insanity or evil, as they call it. But I would say, and spoilers first, I will say that right now, that in the first, towards the first end of the episode, where she sent those two soldiers off to pretty much die, uh, that was not necessarily her fault. She gave them a chance to live. They decided to be assholes as they were in earlier in the show. And so she did what anyone, not what anyone would do, but what I think was the right thing to do and just got rid of them, period. I call that a necessary evil. Also, the comedy coming from Victoria. If you notice the differences in the way these two characters are drawn, Tanya is drawn so serious and like, you know, straight and you know, kind of evil. She has a little bit of evil smirk from time to time, but you know that she is the main character. You know she means business pretty much all the time. However, Victoria looks like she's about to tell a joke right when you see her. Puffy cheeks, big old beady eyes. It, it, it's it's a really weird how they drew the, how they drew these two differently, and you see them in scenes all the time. It just looks so odd. I get it. I get it. But it, it's pretty funny to see. What I will say is, after watching the first few episodes. I definitely think this is a show that you should keep on your radar. I definitely think that this is something that if you're a fan of action or a fan of these kind of little animes, then this will be pretty much for you. I hope to see more animes such as this uh, coming up this season. And I think there are. I'll be talking about some more a little later on. But that's it for now. So I hope you guys did enjoy, enjoy, enjoy this show. I'm going to have to cut this camera before I die of a heat stroke. You guys have a good one. I'll see you. Bye.